The Water Hub is an urban living lab where we are learning how to work with nature rather than against it. The site is situated about 80 kilometers east of Cape Town in the beautiful valley of Franchuk on an abandoned wastewater treatment works. It's very seldom that a wastewater treatment plant is ever abandoned anywhere in the world, and it gave us the opportunity to turn the site into a surface water recovery center. It is also situated in a context that represents a microcosm of South Africa's socio-economic and spatial history. Not more than one kilometer away, an upslope the site is an informal settlement where more than 5,000 people struggle to live in a poorly serviced settlement. Surface water runoff from the settlement flows through the research site. It's a darker shade of grey and is heavily polluted with excess bacteria, nutrients and some things that we can't see or even measure. Researchers at the site are using nature-based processes to clean this water and then use it to irrigate vegetables. Recovering resources from polluted water and reusing this productively is an obvious step in the right direction. The work started with the polluted river that runs through the site. It is high in nutrients and this got us thinking. What if we could use that water with its chemical load to reduce the concentrations and safely reuse the water with a smaller portion of liquid fertilizer? The Future Water Institute at the University of Cape Town and Partners began by converting the old drying beds into biofiltration cells. We filled these large beds with different sources of natural media large and small stones, peach pips, and then grew plants on top of some of these cells, much like a constructed wetland. Polluted water was pumped from the river and into each cell. Two years later, and we now have some exciting results. For example, ammonia is reduced by between 70 and 90%. It is removed by bacteria deep inside the cell. We use this treated water to safely irrigate plants. The irrigation water passes through a series of tanks. These tanks look like they contain green slime, but it is really a useful duckweed that reduces potassium concentrations and provides compost for the soil. We found ways of using nature to treat water without adding chemicals, but we also wanted to learn more about how nature-based processes can support food gardens. These are permaculture gardens. The compost machine in the center contains organic waste and duckweed. It releases nutrients into the soil and is used to grow the vegetables. This is a large-scale experimental project that is bringing together researchers from different disciplines in a dynamic space. We are not only learning and testing nature-based solutions, but learning from each other and seeing the value of interdisciplinary collaboration. We are working to introduce a localized circular economy, and when you take on board this kind of holistic vision, then the research invites so many other questions. For instance, how do we treat high quality organic waste as a resource for growing food, extracting energy and adding value to water for irrigation? What you get is an exciting, challenging and interdisciplinary space. For more information on the project, visit the website thewaterhub.org.za.